Hey guys, Sam from Manthus Makes. So today is Wednesday the 23rd of February 2022. Um, you will have to excuse the fact that I have not put my hair up. I have literally just given it a brush um, because I am feeling a little under the weather today. I don't think it's anything serious. I just think it's a bit of a cold. Um, in yesterday's video, as I was recording, I was feeling myself becoming a bit congested and a little bit meh. Um, so apologies if yesterday's video seemed a little bit hmm. I didn't mean to be like that. I really did love the things that Swampy Acre Homesteads gave me. Um, but I do think I'm feeling a little under the weather. And I do believe it's just a little sniffle, a little cold, probably from when I did battle with the trampoline last week. Um... But, you know, I'm absolutely fine. I just, I'm not feeling 100% myself. Anyway, so, thankfully the sun has decided to come out and play today. We are having a break from the rain and the wind and the awful weather that we've been having lately. Um, and while we were having that awful weather and I typically did a Sam thing, I was just nosing around the internet, as you do. And I really enjoyed the mystery bag that I got from Hobby. That video will be in my playlist if you'd like to search for that. Um, and I wondered if any UK companies did any mystery bags. So I went online and I had a look and I found a company that is in the UK. In fact, it's in the Peak District. I've got some notes down here just so that I can give you a good overall um, lot of information about where I got this mystery bag from. Um, so the company is called Woolful. Um, it's a small independent yarn shop up in the Peak District. They're not, you know, they haven't got a chain of stores. It's just one store. And unfortunately, because of the nasty virus that's going around at the moment, I don't think their store is open to the public, but their online shop is. So I live nowhere near that shop in the Peak District. So obviously I ordered online. Um, if ever I do go up that way, though, I'll be sure to check them out. And basically, the yarn shop was opened in 2017 by three ladies um, who are real keen yarn lovers. Um, in fact, one of them was a nurse, but she was finding that she couldn't do her role as a nurse because of a really bad shoulder injury that she had. So she took a completely different tact and opened a yarn shop in her local area alongside her wife and her daughter. Um, never met these ladies, um, but all power to you. If I had the money, I certainly would love to own and run a yarn shop myself too. So super je jealous and envious, to be perfectly honest with you. So I was having a look around their site in a bit more detail this morning, just so that I could give you some more information. Because obviously, if you like what you see or you wanted to check them out, it would be handy if I had given you some um, information about how to navigate their site and stuff. So, um basically i've had a look and they do ship internationally now that is super exciting however there are a couple of things that you need to bear in mind there are some restrictions on some products and some products cannot be shipped internationally so as you're going through and navigating the website um, hopefully it will be clear which products they can ship to you and which they can't. I haven't actually looked into that in any more detail because obviously I am in the UK, so it's all set up for me to just order what I would like. Um, but do bear in mind that there might be some products there that they cannot ship to you internationally. Um, but what they can, they will. Um, for us in the UK, the uh, shipping is £2 for Royal Mail 48, so I assume that's £2 and it gets to you within 48 hours. Um, or it's £4 for Royal Mail to get to you in 24 hours. However, if you do an order of over £20, shipping is free for us in the UK. And my mystery bag was £20, so I didn't pay any shipping on that one. Um, there are um, costs internationally, obviously. So I I don't think there's a minimum order where you get shipment free. I think it's a flat rate of £15, UK pounds, per one kilogram. And I did not uh, convert that £15 to dollars. I'm so sorry. I've realised as soon as I've jumped on that I didn't actually convert any of those monetary amounts for you. So apologies for that. But as I've said, I'm not feeling 100% today. So everywhere else, £15 a kilo. I don't know if that's good or bad. 
um, but that's just the information that I could get off the website. Um, they cannot ship to Libya, Somalia, Ukraine, Venezuela or Yemen. They have complete, they can't send there. Um, and they also cannot ship to any EU countries because of Brexit. Now, I'm not getting into the debate of Brexit and whether it should or should not have happened, but because of issues in regards to Brexit at the moment, these lovely ladies cannot ship to anywhere in the EU. So if that affects you, I'm super sorry. Don't blame you if you switch off now because you're not going to be able to order. But thank you for coming in anyway. Um, and I am literally just getting the information off of the website. So that's the shipping. That's talking about a few of the restrictions. Now, as I was navigating the website, I realised they had lots and lots and lots of lovely yumminess on their website. Of course they do. They're a yarn shop. They're yarn lovers. They all knit and crochet and do lots of lovely things with fibre. So of course they're going to want their shop to stock as much as possible. So I'm going to read off a big long list of things that I've noticed Obviously, I don't think it's pages and pages and pages of each of these things that I'm going to say, but there is a little bit of everything that I've noted on this list. And you may even find some things that I didn't. So obviously there's yarn, lots of yummy, scrummy yarn. That is obviously the main focus as it is a yarn shop. Um, they also provide yarn kits. So there's things from blankets to amigurumi kits. Um, you know, that sort of thing. And I think you get the yarn and the pattern in that kit, but you would have to click on the product and check those things out. Um, the mystery bags, I'll go into the mystery bags in a little bit more detail in a second. Um, they sell books, they sell patterns and the patterns can be printed PDF or free and they have them for both knitting and crochet. I didn't delve too deep into them. I just realised that there are those options on the site. Um, they sell ac accessories. So things like your stitch markers. And there were some beautiful homemade stitch markers on there. So I really would check those out if you like those. Um, homemade tags to put on your crochet items or knitting items. Um, needles. Um, hooks. Buttons. Tape measures planners, cables for your knitting needles. Um, there were a few bits and pieces for needle craft. So there was some thread, there was some felting materials, um, felting tools and accessories. There were cross stitch kits, there was embroidery kits, there was elastic. Everything you could probably wish for was on their site. But I'm pretty sure that if you got in touch with them and there was things they didn't have, maybe, maybe they could source it for you to go with your order. I don't know on that. I'm just assuming that. And sorry if that is incorrect. But I think you'll find that there is a little something for everybody on that website. And it was a really easy website to navigate. Super simple. Um and easy easy to find what you were looking for it was in nice clear sections that you just clicked on and another lovely thing that i found is you were able to search um with price range so it starts from the lowest price range and it goes all the way down through to the most expensive price range so if you have a budget in mind you can click that price range and only see products within that budget and i thought that was super lovely um because then you won't be tempted with things that you can't quite afford and then you won't get yourself into any trouble that's the way i look at it anyway so i think Oh no, and there was a section for gifts as well, which I thought was rather lovely. So if you have a significant other or if you have family members or friends who are always saying, what would you like for your birthday? What would you like for Christmas? What would you like for Mother's Day? Or whatever the occasion may be, maybe point them in the direction of this website because in the gift section, they've got needle sets, hook sets. There was a Swift. There was quite a nice wooden ball winder, um, amigurumi kits. There were yarn colour packs, um, there was a tote bag, diary, planner, notepad and pen. There was even a kids crafting kit, which was rather lovely. And I thought that was really cool because not only do you have the yarn and the thread and the crafts, you know, and everything related to that, there were also some gift ideas as well. So I think that was all the other bits and pieces that I wanted to talk about. Um, I ordered my mystery bag, what are we, Wednesday? I think I ordered mine 
Saturday or Sunday, but obviously Saturday and Sunday aren't working days and um, they don't count for how quickly it got to me. I got an email Monday to say that my order had been processed. I got an email Tuesday to say that it had been shipped and today is Wednesday and it was delivered by my postman this morning. And considering I didn't pay shipping because I paid over £20, I thought that was absolutely marvellous. And I think I will definitely be a repeat customer. I don't know whether it will be another mystery bag because I haven't opened it yet. Um, but their prices look super reasonable and they look like absolutely high quality products. So please do check it out if you're interested, especially you guys in the UK. But also you guys overseas, you might find a few things that you can't get over in your part of the world. And you might want to see if they'll be able to deliver these products to you and give them a whirl. Who knows? So without further ado, would you like me to open my mystery bag? So I will open it in just a second. There were actually four varieties of mystery bag that I could choose from. There was a small, there was a medium, there was a large or there was an extra large. Believe me, I wish I could have gone for the extra large. But as I've said in previous videos, I really do need to be keeping a closer eye on my spending. But I was hurting and sore from fighting with the trampoline. It was miserable weather and I just wanted to treat myself like I always want to treat myself. I just can't help myself. Um, so I got myself a small mystery bag. I thought, let's start small, and if they're really good, maybe as time goes on, I could try each and every one of the sizes over the course of time. Who knows? So for a small mystery bag, it was £20. That's why I got the free shipping. Uh, the medium was £30, the large was £50, and the extra large was £100. Um, and when you go into the mystery bag section, you could pick the size of your mystery bag. So you pick either the small, medium, large, extra large. And then underneath there were um, a few tick boxes um, where you can um, pick your yarn weight. So you could pick either all the super skinny like yarns like the lace weight, the sport weight, the uh, four ply, you know, that sort of thing. Um, or you could pick somewhere in the middle, I believe, which was DK and Aran weights or three and four weights. Um, then you could pick a, I like my yarn on the chunkier side, so that would be your bulky, your super bulky, or chunky, super chunky if you're in the UK. Or there was another option where it was just chuck anything in, surprise me, I'm not fussy. Um, I believe I picked the DK Aaron option because that is where I'm most comfortable. I may be incorrect, I don't know, I haven't opened the package and I haven't seen if there's an invoice in there. Um, so you can pick your yarn weight and then you can pick your yarn range. So that what that means is you can click a box saying, I don't mind having items that are on sale or discontinued. Uh, you know, any yarn is fine with me. Or you could tick a box to say, please don't put sale items in there. Please don't put discontinued items in there. Because, you know, if if you get some yarn in your mystery bag and you really love it and, you know, you've, you've fallen in love, head over heels and you want to make a super big project, but then you find out the yarn's discontinued and you can't get any more, that would be really disappointing. So if you tick the option where you don't want sale or discontinued, then you should be able to source some more yarn if you wanted to do a bigger project. And then the last thing is you can pick the yarn content and I believe the options in there were I would just like acrylic I don't mind some wool or animal fibers I want all um, natural fibers so that would be your wool your alpaca that sort of thing or again I don't mind chuck anything in give me a huge surprise so I thought that was lovely because you can kind of tailor your mystery bag to suit your needs without knowing exactly what's in there. And I thought that was a super cool idea of them to do. And I really appreciated that. So I have got my mystery bag here. Um, I believe I've covered up my address. And what I love about it is it's come in this brown paper, which is really good for the environment and can be recycled. But what I also love is they have handwritten squishy yarn delivery for Samantha along the front. And I thought that was really cute. That was just a nice little touch. And as I said, the company is Woolful, the little sheep above their logo. So I am going to tear inside my small yarn mystery bag and see what lovelies I have inside. Because I haven't opened it. It's literally arrived this morning, fully sealed. 
totally and utterly. So let's have a look. What did I get? Sorry for the crinkling. Okay, so the first thing I notice is some little flyers. So, oh, there's something about a yarn show, but that's up in Sheffield. So I probably won't go travelling all that way. I'd love to, but it is that's a bit far away from me. Um, and there's also a little card in here that says £50 Woolful Voucher up for grabs every month. Share your makes on Instagram and use hashtag winwithwoolful to enter. Now that I could maybe do. So that's handy to know. Right then, let's see. Did I get an invoice of some description? I can't see one. But that's fine because it was £20, no shipping, complete mystery. Can't remember the options I picked. I'm pretty sure, though, that I did pick DK Aaron. And I'm... I don't know about the fibre content. Anyway, let's just have a look at the yumminess that I've got. So the first thing that I can see is King Cole Homespun Double Knitting, which is a lovely blue tweedy flecky. And this has got to have some wool. I can tell already by the fuzzies. So let's see what I can see on the ball band so you can wash up to 30 degrees do not iron do not tumble dry dry flat they recommend a four millimeter knitting needle no crochet hook it is 22 percent fine merino superwash 22 percent alpaca 23 percent polyamide 23 percent acrylic and 10 percent viscose there is approximately 191 yards or 175 meters 50 gram ball made in Turkey and it says double knitting so that will be a lightweight three or a DK it's called Midnight Sky and the shade is 5104 and it is lovely and soft that is super lovely and I do love the little flecks that are in there how lovely is that so I am already pleased with what I have and there was also a disclaimer on the website as well that because I had picked the £20 um, mystery bag that all the wool inside will have a value of a minimum of £25 so I should have at least £5 more than what I paid in value in the contents so that's that one lovely denim blue beautiful what else oh and I've got a second one so I've actually got two of those so that's super handy maybe I could make myself a nice scarf or a cowl something like that maybe a hat or two I don't know I've never made hats um but that is super yummy I really do like that and even though it's got woolen things in there you cannot feel that at all there is no bite against your skin so let's just go back into the con. That's because there's alpaca polyamide. Yeah, it's a really lovely mix of fibres. That's why it's so super soft. And it really, really is. They are gorgeous. And I do love a bit of blue. Blue goes with everything. And actually, most of the time I'm in my blue jeans because that's what I'm most comfortable in. So that would go lovely as a scarf or a cowl um, for me in the winter time to wear with my blue jeans. So what else have I got? I have got... Oh, okay. I'm probably going to butcher the name, so apologise if I do. I am no good with with saying saying words. Adriaphil? Adriaphil? And it says, Mirage, made in Italy, virgin quality wool. Now this one, you can definitely tell there's wool in there. It's not hideously rough. But you can definitely tell that this has got more, more wool content in this one. So this is 55% wool and 45% acrylic. Some of it is actually written in Italian, so <laughs> bear with me. <laughs> uh, 50 gram ball, I believe. 
you can wash on 30 degrees don't tumble dry um i'm not sure whether you can iron or not they recommend a 4.5 millimeter but it doesn't say knitting needle or crochet hook so i'm not too sure but it does say dk on there that i am sure about um i don't know how to say that color so i'll just show you on my camera is it focused let's get my face out of it don't know if that's focusing or not and then the other details here. Oh, is it going to focus? My camera's not brilliant. So there we go. So I got one in this almost taupey slash grey. It's really nice, neutral, natural colour. But I got exactly the same thing in a pink. So I actually got two of those. That's quite lovely. They go very well together. They complement each other very well. So I got two of those. And then I got two of these. These are Adria Phil as well, but these are the Zebrino. Look at those lovely teals and greys and a little pop of orange in there that I've noticed. Maybe a little bit of yellow, yeah absolutely lovely so let's read a bit about this one as well so the zebrino 4.5 millimeter knitting needles 50 gram ball so it's 53 percent wool and 47 percent acrylic um made in italy And I think it's hand wash, dry, flat, this one. So that's that one. And I actually got two the same. How lovely are they? And again, they're really nice and soft and squishy. So these would make a good scarf or a cowl as well. Lovely. So two of those. So that's rather lovely. And now I've just got one more thing left in the bag. And I recognise this one because I actually did a video in my playlist when I bought this one here. This was the King Cole Harvest and I got it in this colourway in my video. I bought three of these in my local yarn store. So that'll be a local yarn store haul um, video that you can find in my playlist. So I bought this one. So I'll put that one, oopsie, I'll sort my shelves out in a second. They have given me one in this colourway. Isn't that beautiful? I love these pinky corally with the denim and then the browns and the creams. I think that is a beautiful colourway. And just as the ones that I bought, this one is super soft. But this is lovely because if ever I wanted another couple of these to make a bigger project I know that I have two or three different options in order to get them I can either go back to my local yarn store I can order from Woolful and I know that um sometimes wool warehouse stock them they're out of stock the last time I looked but they might be getting some more in so I'll just quickly run through the specs for you again so this is a double knitting so it's a three weight or a DK uh you can wash up to 30 degrees don't iron you can cool tumble dry. I recommend that you hand wash and lay flat to dry. They recommend a four millimeter knitting needle. There is no recommendation for crochet hook. It is 90% acrylic and 10% alpaca. And in this beautiful cake, there is approximately 585 yards or 535 meters. It's a 150 gram ball made in Turkey. And this is called landscape. My other one was Woodland, I believe. Yeah, that one was Woodland. This one is Landscape or shade 5206. And then if you're a knitter, that's how the colourway plays out. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I got this one. 
I got two of these. I got two of these and I got two of these. So that's four, five, six, seven balls for £20. And I think that is really, really good. I am super happy with that. So there will be some that I keep and there will be some that I might give away at some point. So speaking of giveaways, in my video yesterday, I explained to you that I'm going to have an impromptu giveaway because I'm just feeling generous and I want to spread the love and why not? So what you have to do is you have to go back on my playlist and you have to find the what would you like to know video, something with that description. Um, and what I've asked you to do is to ask me a question. What would you like to know about me? Because I do my content, I talk about yarn and things that I'm making, but I don't actually divulge a lot about myself personally. So if you would like to ask me a question, go and find that video, answer a question. And what I'm doing as I'm writing these questions down in a notepad, I am putting a number next to your name. Now, when I do my answering the questions video, at the end, I am probably going to ask Alexa, I didn't want to say that too loud in case I activated her, to pick a random number between one and however many questions are answered. A few of you have put a couple of questions in, in one. That's just one entry. You can only have one entry and one assigned number. And then when I've answered everyone's questions, I will ask for a random number. And that random number is going to win a little mini giveaway that I've compiled. It probably won't be as big as the giveaways I did last time, but there are going to be some yummy scrumminess things inside this giveaway. So if you are interested, go back on that video, ask me a question. I will give you a number. You will be entered. If you do not like what you win, you can pick somebody else that you know to receive it. Ideally, I would like it to be another subscriber to me, um, but I really can't dictate that. Or you can ask for it to be redrawn and I will pick somebody else. But there will be yarn and there will be lots of nice bits in there. And I can't see why you wouldn't want to win. But that's just me being biased. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed the contents of this video. I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed seeing what I got in my mystery bag. Um, I do recommend that you check their website out. It is really, really, really awesome. Um, and if you just type Woolful into Google, it should pop up and it will take you to their website. So guys, I'm going to leave it there. It is Wednesday today, but I'm probably not going to post this video until tomorrow. I will have to wait and see, see how my internet's behaving and seeing when um, I can actually get these uploaded. I am probably going to film another video straight after this one showing you my whips and probably some FOs that I've done. Um, so be on the lookout for that one and I will be answering the questions that you've asked me on Friday so to be in with a chance to win that giveaway please put your questions on that video by Friday if I get any other questions after Friday I can do another answering questions video later on but for the purposes of the giveaway and I know YouTube did not like us using that word so I'll say present for you to win that present, you need to get your question written on that video in the comment section before Friday. Anyway, I am going to go. I've got another video to film and I'm only managing to do this video because Mike has taken the three boys to go and get their hair cut. They were looking a bit scruffy and they need to be made handsome again. So he's gone to get them a haircut and uh, my stepdaughter is again doing a puzzle. She loves her puzzles. Anyway, so... I will get off. Thank you for everyone for returning. Hi to everybody that's new. I'm sorry you caught me on a day where I'm a little under the weather, but mostly I'm fine. It's good. Nothing to worry about. Just a sniffle. Um, thank you for coming in. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell and set, change it to all so you get notified every time I upload a video if you like what you saw please give me a thumb thumbs really help and please put a comment down below whether you thought that I got um a good bang for my buck 
or whether you might want to check them out and see what they did or just to say hi any comment is absolutely fine and I love reading them and I do try to respond to every comment that I get and if I don't respond please don't take it personally it's just I do have a very busy um, household and at the moment with everybody off school and work I don't have the time like I normally do but I will always heart it I will always read it and I will always heart it so anyway do all those bits and pieces like subscribe bell comment super appreciate it and i will see you in the next video i hope you're having a lovely crafty week i love you all loads thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye